Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Funny Friday. So my cat was bathing himself the other day. Bathing, right? He was looking at himself and, you know, I noticed something different about animals and humans. Why is it that animals, they'll just lick one body part and then they're done? It's like, you don't see me getting in the shower, washing my arm, hopping out, and heading off to Costco to buy more Fruit Loops. What? Don't judge me. I love Fruit Loops. Those things are delicious. Speaking of animals, though, cat animals, uh, cats and dogs, they're so different. I mean, a dog, they get home, or you get home from work or whatever, and like, Hey, 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 play, play, play. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Give me the ball. You got food? I'll do a trick. I'll do a trick. You know, you don't, you don't see a cat doing that. A cat, you see the cat and you have sympathy for it more than a dog. You're just like, oh, you're hungry, yeah? Uh, me too. Okay, here. Let me get you some kibbles and bits or whatever they're eating these days. Give them some catnip and then watch them roll around on the floor. That'll be their trick. And he, you know, speaking of difference between difference with differences, I can't even say the word differences between animals and humans is you don't go to a little kid and you say, "Hey, Tommy, okay, here's your can pancake, but before I give it to you, I'm gonna show you a trick. I don't know what they're gonna do. Whip out of the cars. Okay, mommy, pick a card." It just, no, it, it it doesn't happen. You know the weird thing is, in certain parts of the world, like in the Philippines, they actually eat dog. Like, that's repulsive. But me and my mom, we did have this trick, uh, this joke going around. Because, um, well, my uncle, he lived for the longest time uh, when he came to America. For a while in the lives, he lived with my aunt. And when it was, uh, when it was summer, he liked to be out on the grill. Hey, don't get out of me. He liked to be out on the grill, you know, cooking hot dogs and broth and hamburgers and all that good stuff. And I thought, you know, wouldn't it be funny if we got to, uh, Uncle Moonrise, that was his name, Moonrise, that's what we call him, his nickname. We got to Uncle Moonrise's house. One day, we get in the house, we start looking for the dog. Hey, Jack. Jack. Where'd Jack go? Get back outside. Hey, Uncle Nona? Yes? Because he's in an accent and that's the best Filipino accent I have well, for today. What's up? Um, yeah, where's Jack? I'm sorry, would you like some? Yeah. I mean, funny, but disgusting. Okay, and... Why is it, by the way, I understand, like, cats and animals, but some of these people, their pets are so weird. Like a, a, a mouse. Like, who in the right mind? The, you see a mouse crawling on the floor, you freak out, you jump on furniture, you, you get your shoe out, try to kill it, or... If you want to be a bit more humane, you get a mouse trap because, you know, we all know that's better than killing it with your shoe. Uh, but as soon as you put it in a cage, it's cute. I mean, I can understand a gerbil. But not even that because a gerbil is just like an oversized mouse. It's messed up. You see, you don't want a mouse in your house. Oh, hey, look, I rhyme. You don't want a mouse in your house. But a gerbil, an oversized obese mouse, that's fine. Whatever. Anyways. That's Funny Friday. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Oh yeah, by the way, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. I really appreciate your support.